What's going on nation? Today we're going to talk about test boosters. I've already discussed the basics of testosterone on a previous video, so if you want to learn more about how T is produced in your body, how it helps with muscle gain, and how to naturally optimize your T levels, make sure you check it out over here. Now in this video, we're going to talk about natural test boosters and if they really work. First of all, let me say that this video is for those of you who have normal testosterone levels and are looking for T boosters as a way to maximize your gains. If you have or suspect you have low T levels due to aging or medical conditions, I recommend you consult with your doctor to get into professionally monitored hormone therapy. Now test boosters are widely marketed these days as key supplements to help with your gains, fat loss, sex drive, and anyone can find all kinds of amazing stories about their incredible results. But are they true or is it all hype? Don't worry, Erica and I have done all the work for you guys, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We read articles and testimonies, but most importantly, we took the time to read many scientific studies to get the most accurate information to pass on to you guys. Now we know that it would be impossible for us to evaluate every test booster out there, so we looked up the most commonly used main active ingredients and did our research on those. This way, you can pretty much evaluate any product out there by looking at the ingredients on the label. The first ingredient we're going to talk about is found in most test boosters and it's called Tribulus Terrestris. Tribulus is derived from a plant and this supplement can be found as a standalone supplement or as one of the ingredients of the formula. Now Tribulus is massively marketed as a miracle test booster and is even suggested as an aid to help people coming off of a steroid cycle to help bring their T levels back to normal. Bottom line on this one guys, inconclusive. There are no conclusive studies showing that Tribulus does anything for T levels. There is one test done on male rats that shows an increase in body weight and sexual activity. But we also read studies performed on humans that showed no difference in testosterone levels or strength on any of the subjects tested. DHEA is a natural steroid that is secreted by the adrenal glands and can be converted into testosterone and less desirable estrogen. Remember guys, estrogen is the female hormone. Now there are claims that say that DHEA increases T levels, slow signs of aging, which also includes slowing down muscle loss, but to us the most significant piece of information we found was a two year study following 87 men and 57 women. And this study showed that DHE levels did increase, but not testosterone, muscle strength, or body composition. And the danger here is that it can increase estrogen levels with side effects such as man boobs. So the bottom line guys, don't do it. ZMA is believed to increase testosterone levels and strength, but we read studies that examined the anabolic effects of supplementing with ZMA and they showed no difference in body composition, strength levels, or serum testosterone levels. However, one of the studies did show higher serum zinc levels in blood and urine content but no difference in T whatsoever. I think the confusion here is that zinc plays an important part in regulating serum testosterone levels, so you do want to have an adequate amount of zinc in your system, but unless you're depleted in zinc, it will not really make a difference in your T levels. Fenugreek is a herb believed to boost libido and raise T levels. But first off, there are hardly any studies out there on fenugreek. But we did read one amazing study reporting all these incredible results with lean muscle gains and T-level increases in just eight weeks. But then we found a major red flag. The study was financed by the company that sells the test booster. You should know that study parameters can be easily manipulated to obtain certain results. So we typically do not consider studies unless they are conducted by an unbiased source. We found another study conducted in 60 men that reported increased libido but found no difference in T levels at all. Bottom line is that there are no reputable studies showing that fenugreek works at all. 
Deaspartic acid, or DAA, is an amino acid that regulates testosterone synthesis. Now, DAA is hyped up to be a testosterone booster, but studies have found that it does nothing for your T levels. Some studies have seen a temporary increase in T levels, but they last only a week to a week and a half. And the small benefits identified have only been in males that have T levels below the normal range to begin with. So it won't do much in terms of gains, especially if your testosterone is within the normal levels already. Vitamins B6 and vitamin D are marketed as T-boosters, but you need to understand this very important detail, guys. In general, vitamins are critical for many functions in your body, and testosterone production is no different. Studies have shown that diets with lack of vitamin B6 or vitamin D can lead to low T levels. So the trick here is understanding that vitamin deficiency can lead to low T levels, but if you are within the normal range of T, taking extra vitamins will not increase your testosterone. Now we spent all this time talking about raising T levels, but I can guarantee you that most people don't even know what the average testosterone level is supposed to be to begin with. According to Harvard Health Publications, the normal T range for males is 270 to 1,070 nanograms per deciliter. And to start seeing noticeable muscle growth, your T levels need to go up to at least 20 to 30 percent above the top of the normal range. So above 1,070 nanograms per deciliter. Now do you really think that herbs or other supplements are capable of increasing your T levels that much? Just as an example guys, steroid users take on the low end 500 to 1,000 milligrams of testosterone per week during a cycle to see significant muscle gain. And these anabolic steroids take your T levels from a normal range, which once again is 270 to 1,070, to 3,000 to 5,000 nanograms per deciliter. Now guys, do the math. Independent of the ingredients in the test boosters, I highly doubt that you'll be able to go above that much of the normal range unless you're taking steroids. So my opinion on the whole test booster thing guys, make sure you don't fall below the normal T range to begin with by leading a lifestyle that naturally optimizes your T levels through diet, sleep and nutrition. And it's also a good idea to get on a good multivitamin as well. And once again, this video will show you how to optimize your T levels naturally, so if you need some help, be sure to check it out. And instead of spending your money on a test booster, invest in supplements that are already proven to make a difference on your gains, such as protein powder, creatine, or a good pre-workout. At the end of the day, guys, there are no shortcuts or magic pills, aside from steroids, that are going to maximize your gains. It comes down to hard work and nutrition, and I know that each and every one of you are capable of amazing results if you put the time into your training. So there you have it guys, I hope this helps you make better decisions on where to spend your money when it comes to supplements. Now Erica and I are thinking about doing a third video for this series on pro-hormones or legal steroids. So if you think that's a good idea, be sure to give the video a like and leave a comment in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more great tips, exercises, routines and meal plans, be sure to join us on scottherbanfitness.com and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys. Are you looking to build some massive muscle nation? This is something that I'm very excited about. I've put together my first 30 day workout program. This isn't no fly by 20 minute Zumba workout guys. This is the real deal. What I've done is I've taken all the guests workout. Some of you guys might not know how to put together a program. Maybe you don't have time to do it or you just want to try something new and, or something different. So what I've done is taken all the guests workout and planned every single day for 30 days. So all the exercises, sets, reps, rest periods and also I put together my own specific muscle splits to make sure you're really maximizing your time in the gym. Now this workout plan is gonna come complete with some PDF downloads as well as some mobile, tablet, and PC-friendly videos 
you guys can watch to perform the workout while in the gym. You're going to absolutely love it. We're also giving away some meal plan advice as well to make sure no matter what your macros need to be to hit your goal, we can help you get there. So if you haven't checked it out yet, join me on LeanMuscleSystem.com and sign up for the waiting list. We're only releasing 1,000 copies of the program to start. And it's because, as you guys know, I really like to engage with the community and make sure you guys are reaching your goals. So those first 1,000 people to get in and try the system, we're going to do our best to have quality customer support and make sure that I can also get in there to help with any questions you might have. So be sure to check it out. I'm really excited about it, and I can't wait to see the results that you guys start to post.